guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, and I'm really excited, and I got it. And I'm gonna share it with you guys, I'm gonna try it out, kind of say my real feelings about it. So let's get into the video. Before we get into the contour kit, I want to go and put on a clean slate, and so I'm going to take some Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is my favorite, and I'm in the color Snow, and I'm just going to put some of that on so that I kind of have a clean slate, and I'm just going to apply that all over. Once again, there's a mirror behind the camera, if you haven't heard me say that a million times already. I'm going to go finish blending this in, and I'll be right back. Now I applied a thin layer of foundation, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox the cream contour kit. And this is by Anastasia, and it includes colors such as Fair, Neutral, Banana, Java, Light Sculpt, and Havana. So I know I am looking very pale right now, but that's because I only have a thin layer of foundation on. So I want to go ahead and say that let's fix that with the contour kit and I'm really excited to try it and I'm actually going to be using a real technique spun to use that to do my contour because it is cream and it's not powders so I wouldn't use a brush so let's get right into it so right off the bat just opening it I can tell you that they're really really very very creamy some contours when it says a cream it's really not it's just like basically hard hard powder but this is very very creamy so I'm gonna do a quick swatch test I'm gonna take that middle shade right there okay there's really no pigment coming off of it okay that's a weird shade though okay so there it is on my skin it's doesn't have a lot of pigment when you first press into it I don't know why but let's just try it out so let me move some of my hair over and I'm going to start by contouring this side with once again the middle shade. Just dabbing it in there. Okay, so I got a lot on my sponge. Let's see, does it, I grabbed a lot more than I usually would because I want to see if it would have pigment. Okay, so, okay, so it's actually dark when you put it on so that's a good start okay yeah so it is darker than it appears to be but like you have to make sure you know where you're putting it because you can tell that I didn't realize and it's darker up here than it is like here but that will blend out okay so maybe I would not suggest using a beauty blender especially the real techniques it's not very precise, it's kind of sloppy. So I think I'm gonna go get a brush. So instead of a real brush, I decided to take an artiste brush that I got off of like Amazon or something, and I'm gonna use that to blend it in. So far, I'm honestly not impressed. It seems that it's not, it, it's basically like, it's very like, I don't know, it just kind of smears. It's not like, I don't, it's, it's really, you can tell, it doesn't look like the other contour that I did in my party makeup tutorial. It's just, it doesn't blend well. Let me do a close up of this. It, to me so far, it kind of looks like it's just blending into my skin tone. And it just is, the shades are a little off, I think. I don't know, the shades are a little weird. Maybe that's just because I have really pale skin or whatever. But it's just kind of blending all over the place. It's not really precise. I don't know, let me do a close up. As you can tell from the close up, you really can't see it that well. When I look in a different camera, um, more in person, I do see it. It's definitely not a beginner product because it is going to take some time so that I can get used to it to see how it works best for me. And if I do, I will update you guys. But 
really for now it's not my favorite project I've ever used because it kind of just adding color it's not really contouring I would say I would say I mean this is a, one of the first times I have used cream contour so I am going to look more into it and it's not going against the product I love Anastasia and the brand itself but this product isn't just my favorite it kind of is just a, a very smeary and it doesn't contour well like it's doesn't it's not very like I don't want to say it's not very precise because that's up to me to make it precise but it just is very smeary and the colors are a little bit off and I feel like even if I clean it up it's just gonna be kind of like there it's not it's not my favorite thing I think I'm gonna stick to cream to not cream to um, powder contour or like the Kat Von D kit for now but I will update you guys maybe later on if I like it a little bit better um, so this one is not my favorite, but I am going to be doing a lot more reviews. I have a few more things planned in my head that I'm going to review on. So keep out on watch for those. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post every Friday or Saturday. And if you want, comment something positively. Love you guys. Bye.